Okay, man, we're having some major issues tonight with these uh, podcasts, man. So what we're going to try to do is just do three minutes at a time, and maybe we'll be able to save it. Uh, for some reason, it's it's really getting on my nerves. Okay, anyway, heading into there, man. Listen, we're on episode two, The Fire. Uh, panic is heightened when a house catches on fire in Chester Mill, but the fire department is outside of the dome. Um, here's what we know about the dome officially as of right now. It's officially called the dome by the, the people on the outside of the dome. They're calling it... Uh, a dome. They're calling it the dome. It's officially the dome. All right. So there we go. Um, it's ten miles across, and uh, it's not radioactive. Lasers cannot bring it down. Um, so therefore, you know, Jedi knights and lightsabers cannot. They have no effect on this bad boy. Um, you cannot shoot it. If you shoot it, it's just going to ricochet, and somebody's going to get injured, as we've seen tonight. Bad idea. Um, Let's see what else is going on, man. Um, what was kind of cool is you got to see the military really interacting with this thing in various points, I guess, along the perimeter of the uh, dome, man. It was kind of strange because they're out there testing on this thing while the people are inside, but they're not saying anything to the people that are trapped inside the dome. They're actually ignoring them and continuing on with their... Their, their, their test and, and uh, treating these people almost like, you know, like ants, if you will. You know, like ants inside of a glass or ants under a magnifying glass, if you will. Um, let me see. Uh, batteries. Anything that has a battery, if you touch the dome, it's going to explode or you're going to die. So if you have a pacemaker like Duke did, you're dead. Um, if you have a battery on your watch, you're dead. Okay, well, you're not really dead. Well, I guess pro probably later on you'd be dead unless, you know, they can chop your arm off or maybe, I don't know, put a splint and a tourniquet on that bad boy. But, yeah, pretty much you're dead, man. So, um, if you have a wound-up watch, if you're, I don't know, 1913, <laughs> or if, you're, if your grand grandfather Bill gave you a watch, then you're good to go. All right, um, let me see. What else is going on, man? Um... The relationship, or I guess you could say the uh, uh, um, craziness that is Junior and Angie, it just escalated to a, uh, another level. And we're going to talk about that in the next three-minute uh, podcast because i got to go. It's already 2.30, and I'm going to stop it now before it cuts off. But yeah, tonight, great episode, 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's called The Fire. You can catch it on uh, Amazon.com underneath the Prime membership. Um, yeah, guys, I'm loving this show. Absolutely best show on TV, hands down, alright, right here, <laughs> I hope this works.